What's up YouTube? It's me, Alyssa Morrison. The Alyssa Morrison, if you will. Back at it with another video and I am jealous of my dog taking a nap right here. So comfortably. What's up guys? So today I have my, I almost said highly requested and no one's requested this. This is just me pretending that you guys want to see this. So uh, I am talking about my drugstore must-haves for skincare, hair care, and makeup. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Starting off with skincare, which is my all-time favorite topic, I have two products to share with you today. The first is the vitamin C serum by Art Naturals. You can order this online at target.com. I've talked about this in a few of my other videos. I am absolutely obsessed with this. As you guys might have heard in my other videos, vitamin C is great to use in the morning as a serum to protect against free radicals uh, like hyperpigmentation and uh, like dark spots and everything like that. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. I don't know if I said that before. That's why it helps protect against free radicals. Free radicals can cause premature aging, even skin cancer. So a vitamin C serum in your routine is essential. Next, I have the Neutrogena Clear Face. I wear the Broad Spectrum SPF 55. This is the only drugstore sunscreen that I can wear daily that does not break me out. And that's kind of the whole purpose because it's the... Oh, it's the clear face version so it's like breakout it's a breakout free formula but this glides on so smoothly it doesn't um, get like balled up on your skin when you apply makeup it's not greasy it's my favorite drug <laughs> my favorite drugstore sunscreen by a landslide. Moving on to makeup favorites, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I've talked about this in a ton of my videos before. Um, I love the color match. It matches my skin tone perfectly and there's tons of options as far as colors go and different like undertones as well. I love the blendability of this and I think that it lasts for a really long time and for the price, I just think you can't beat it. I have two mascara favorites. I have the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express. The reason that I love this one is because I feel like it gives me really good volume, but I also love the way that it is removed or that it gets removed. <laughs> it's really easy to remove and I really like that. When I'm cleansing my face at night, it just dissolves off so easily and you don't have to scrub at all, which is pretty important to me in mascara. I don't like waterproof mascaras at all. So I really like that about this. And it's also just one of those staples that gives you good volume. My all time favorite mascara is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. This is pretty much everything that I look for in a mascara. It stays all day. It gives you volume and length, I feel like. And it has just like your typical CoverGirl brush. I don't know if you can see that. Just kind of that thicker brush, but what I love about this, there are absolutely no clumps and it really just builds up with each coat. So I do about two or three coats of this and love it. Next, I have the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Cheeky. I'm actually wearing this on my cheeks today. This is my favorite drugstore blush at the moment. It glides on really smoothly. I feel like it's a dupe for higher end blushes. I like this color specifically because it gives me a really nice flush and it looks pretty natural. I believe they have one other shade of this, a little bit darker, maybe like a more berry toned. I'm trying to remember but I would definitely recommend checking this out. It's a pretty good size and it was only $6. Next, I have two brushes from e.l.f. The first one is the Flawless Face Brush. This is a really thick uh, blending brush that I usually use for my bronzer and my blush. If it had any issues with this shedding, I've washed it several times. I really, really, really love this brush. I feel like it blends super effortlessly and it's not one of those brushes that you have to like really work with. Um, I'm obsessed with this. This is the e.l.f. blending brush and this is just like a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I really love this for doing like an all over lid color and then blending in the crease. It's just a really, really nice, big, fluffy brush. I really like this as well because you don't have to pull or tug on your delicate eyelids. It just 
glides over pretty effortlessly as well. And finally, my hair care favorite at the drugstore is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Hair Mask from Shea Moisture. Most of, most, <laughs> most of the Shea Moisture hair masks really weigh my hair down. I have very dry and curly hair, but it's also super fine. This is the only mask that gives my hair such weightless hydration. I feel like after I use this, I'm able to comb or brush through my hair with no problems. Like I don't even need a detangler or anything, which is saying a lot for my hair. It also smells incredible. I don't feel like the scent lingers too heavily. I like just subtle scents and this one is a really nice coconut uh, subtle scent. I feel like it doesn't linger too long. I definitely just said that like three times. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to click that subscribe button. I think it's gonna be somewhere on my screen or in the little bar below. And join the family. Rocco and I would, uh, we would love it. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, little buddy? Yeah, he says yeah. Give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see more from me and I will see you guys next time.